Being a Chicago firefighter EMT requires a high level of physical fitness to perform the job safely and effectively. There are many different kinds of requirements that a firefighter EMT must meet. These include, but are not limited to, climbing stairs, search and rescue, carrying heavy equipment, pulling hose, using an axe and wearing heavy protective gear. Work activities are carried out in extreme environmental conditions such as excessive heat and cold. A primary goal of the City of Chicago is to hire individuals who have the appropriate physical abilities to perform essential firefighter EMT tasks. To accomplish this goal, the City of Chicago administers a physical abilities test which candidates must pass before they will be given further consideration for employment with the Chicago Fire Department. The purpose of this program is to show you, the applicant, the kinds of activities you can participate in to improve your chances for passing the physical abilities test. There are also certain general guidelines one should follow before beginning an exercise program. Be realistic in your goals and do not expect changes overnight. Muscle soreness is a natural result of exercise when you are unaccustomed to the activity. However, extreme soreness means you exercise too hard. You should not be so sore that you cannot perform the exercise the next day with reasonable comfort. Start gradually to keep soreness down. If you have not exercised regularly, start with mild activities and slowly increase the intensity. Dress for comfort so that you can move freely and safely. Start each exercise session with a warm-up and cool-down with certain stretching activities and walking or slow jogging. Please consult a physician before beginning this or any other exercise program. The City of Chicago and its consultants and or agents do not assume responsibility for any health consequence as a result of your participation. Stretching is done to help prevent injury and to get you ready for more strenuous physical activity. Stretching should never be painful. Stretch to the point of mild discomfort. There are many different types of stretches that could be used. The following are common ones. To loosen the ankle and foot, sit on a mat or carpet with your left leg straight in front and your right leg crossed over your left thigh. Rotate your foot for 15 to 20 seconds. Then reverse direction. Repeat this exercise with your left foot. For a leg stretch, Sit on the floor with your knees bent. Grasp the toes of both feet and slowly straighten one leg as far as is comfortable. Keep the toes upright and hold for five to 10 seconds. Repeat three to five times for each leg. Do a leg lift by laying on one side with your legs straight. Slowly lift your upper leg as high as is comfortable, pause in the raised position for two to three seconds, and return. Repeat this three to five times. Next, slowly move the leg forward and back as far as is comfortable three to five times. Make sure your hip stays stationary. Repeat the sequence with the other leg. For the trunk and back, lay on the mat with your feet together, planted on the mat with the legs bent. Grasp the front of your knees with your hands and slowly pull your knees to your chest until you feel a comfortable stretch. Hold this position for three to five seconds. Repeat four or five times. To stretch the neck, Slowly look to your right and hold for three to five seconds. Look to your left and hold. Repeat this three to four times. For the shoulder, stand with arms outstretched and palms down. Slowly rotate the arms in small circles. Gradually widen the circular motion to a full range over a 10 second period. Then reverse the direction. T 
To stretch the upper torso, extend your right arm above your head, reaching as if climbing a ladder, while raising your left leg. Alternate with your other arm and leg in rhythm for 20 to 30 seconds. Gradually increase the reach and the pace. To stretch the Achilles tendon and leg, while standing, lean forward and place both palms on a wall with your arms slightly bent. Extend one leg to the rear, planting your toe. Slowly lower your heel to the floor until you feel a stretch. Hold for three to four seconds. Alternate to the other leg. Repeat this three to four times for each leg. Finish up your stretching by jogging in place. In a standing position, alternate lifting your opposite arm and leg in rhythm. Gradually increase the speed of movement and maintain this for 60 seconds. You should now be ready for a more strenuous physical activity. In this video, we present a variety of exercises that will improve both your upper and lower body muscular strength and endurance. Muscular strength is defined as the ability of the muscle to exert a given force. Muscular endurance is defined as the ability of the muscle to sustain that force over time. There are two principles for weight training that are important to remember. Low repetitions and high resistance improve strength. High repetitions and low resistance improve endurance. By increasing your strength, you are able to perform a given amount of muscular work easier. So your ability to sustain this work also improves. That is why we concentrate on improving muscular strength. There are many firefighting and emergency medical services activities that require a combination of muscular strength and endurance. Putting equipment on the truck, chopping with an ax, using a pike pole, and performing CPR require upper body muscle contraction. Removing victims from a building, lifting and carrying heavy equipment upstairs, and loading a stretcher into an ambulance involves the muscles of the trunk and legs. Grip strength is necessary to raise ladders, open fire hydrants, and splint fractures. These are just a few examples of the many situations where muscular strength and endurance are needed. To improve muscular strength, you must lift enough weight to overload the muscle group you want to improve. It is important to wear a weight belt to help support your back and prevent low back injury. Also, never lift weights from the floor with your back bent over. Always lift from the floor by keeping your back slightly bent and your hips under you. You should experiment with varying weight to determine that amount you can lift for 4 to 12 repetitions. This is called repetition maximum. One 4 to 12 repetition maximum is termed a set. You will have to vary the weight depending upon how many repetitions you want to perform. Perform three sets of 4 to 12 repetitions with no more than two minutes rest between each set.